G'day legends, welcome back to another episode of Young Lee's Outdoor Kitchen. Today we're going to be whipping up something nice and tasty. It's about lunchtime. I've got a rod out on the flick there. So the fishing's been pretty terrible lately. So the rains have been pretty heavy, the rivers are all pretty flooded, the dam levels are way up. So we're just down on the river here now. As you can see, she's chockers all the way up to the bank. Like here, usually when we're fishing here, we're standing about there. But I've got a rod out just down there with some worms on it. Haven't heard any bells dinging yet. But for now, I've got the old uh, rim barbecue that a couple of our mates have made up for us. She's got some jar in there, chipping away, waiting for them coals to go down. She gets quite hot, she's quite thick. So it's just like half a metal plate, half mesh, couple handles. Just a 13 inch rim with a couple poles there. And this is the little barbecue that we take out with us when we go camping or uh, wood chopping fishing and that and we just cook up a few feeds. So uh, let's get right into it and I'll let you know what we're making in a second. Yo. Right, so today we're going to be making some chicken BLTs. Nice and simple, something you can do with one pan or one grill top there. So um, we'll just go through the ingredients that we've got here and we're just going to get it done on this nice little barbecue. We've got the coals breaking down now. Should be a good tasty lunch. Let's get into it. All right, first thing you're gonna need, a bit of chicken. A bit of bacon, can't do a BLT without bacon. A bit of Wonder Bread, we're gonna triple stack that up. A bit of barbecue sauce. A bit of mayo, can't go wrong with the barbecue mayo combo. A bit of butter for the bread. A bit of oil. A couple of tomatoes here, homegrown from the veggie patch at home. Oh, lost one. So these couple things here I've grown myself, tomatoes, the lettuce, so we've got a little bit of a ranch going on at home there, we've got just under an acre we're trying to build a fruit forest there, we've got a heap of veggie gardens cranking, um, so we might do a little couple of episodes there on what we do around the house there, um, trying to get self sustainable, a little bit self sufficient, and just all around healthy eating, healthy living, and trying to save a couple of quid, growing our own tomatoes, growing our own lettuces, and whatever else we can grow. Let's get into it. Alright, so the coals are starting to break down there. We'll chuck the lid on him. We'll just let that heat up. Now this thing, like I said, is real thick. It gets real hot real quick. The mesh, we might do the chicken on that, do it flame grilled style. Boil it up, you'll see. It's going to be a good time. Alright, so I'm just going to start prepping everything up here. I'm going to cut up the chicken. I'm just going to fan it out, make it nice and thick. Like one piece of bread there. So I'm just going to butterfly him out. Just leave him open. One chicken titty spread out, about the same size as a piece of bread. Good to go. Clean this up and cut up the veggies. Right, so we've got the bread buttered, tomatoes chops, lettuce is ready to go, sauces are ready, chicken's fanned out, we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on that one before she gets whacked onto there, and the bacon, that'll just get nice and crispy on the flat part of the plate, chicken on the mesh side, and should be nice and easy. Like I said, grew this lettuce and tomato myself guys, so thinking about maybe making the odd ch uh, channel episode here and there, around the um, Bush Rats Ranch we're calling it, um, so the, the dream is to have a fruit forest, veggies everywhere uh, it's going to take a fair few years but i might do like every six months or a year's update just like a summer winter um update on what's growing how it's all coming along how the fruit forest is coming if you're interested in that give us a comment down below and um i'll make that happen as well just for something a bit different so let's get into it let's get this thing underway bit of oil on that bit of oil on the old chicken Lube him up, we don't want him sticking to the old mesh there on the barbecue. Whack him straight on. Sizzling. I don't know you guys really like me bacon, so I'm going to whack a fair bit of bacon on here. Oops. 
Bacon's on, chicken's going. We'll toast these up in a minute. We can stick that around. Toast it around on the edge of the grill. Bit of lettuce, bit of You guys know how to make a BLT, but oh, can't go wrong. Day for it. Like I said, this thing's quite thick. It gets pretty hot pretty quick. Give this bacon a bit of a skinny. Thanks, get me. Rounding up nice and thick. Check this chicken. Look at that. Looking real good. All right, so that's all coming along nicely. I'm gonna whack me bread on. I'm gonna spread that out around on the grill top here. Barbecue grill top, half grill. Something like that. That should get it going. Try and toast that up nicely. And uh, be baking a little toss. Just browning up nicely. Chicken looks like it's almost there. By the time this is all crispened up, it'll be underway. Tony's getting a bit hard. Tony, where are you at, mate? All right, bread's nearly done. Chicken's definitely done, and bacon looks nice and crispy. So uh, let's put this thing together, eh? Let's check it out. Yeah, it's looking red hot. It's looking good. Get them off here. All right. I don't know how you guys like your burgers. I like to put the meat side down first. Look at that. Look at that chicken. Good looking bit of chalk. I'm going to put him down here first. I'm going to stack my bacon up nice and high. Chicken, bit of bacon. Right, next up, I like to go with my barbecue sauce. Give that a little drizzle. Back to another piece of bread. Nice lettuce on there. Tomato on the lettuce. Bit of the old secret sauce, mayonnaise. Last but not least, pop your lid on. Cut them in half, see how it looks, see how it tastes. There we have it guys, chicken BLT, done on a 13 inch car rim, recycled up, uh, a couple of mates like I said made that one there for us, down by the river, beautiful day for us, middle of winter at the moment and first day it hasn't rained in about, I think it's rained here like 50 something days in a row, not flat out but it's been pretty flat out and we've had record breaking rain since, uh, was it 2005 or something, so, so the fishing's been terrible, cooking's been good, but enough chit chat, let's try this thing eh, look at that. Chicken, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayo and barbecue, all the good things. Put this one down. Ah. No complaints there at all. One of my favourites, BLTs, especially with chicken. Like I said, it's one, one panner, one barbecue, one hot plate. Anyone can make it. It's nice and simple for a lot of lunch times at camping. Um, but there you have it. Mm. 
until next time guys take it easy like and subscribe um, if you like this sort of thing check out our other videos as well we've got a few bush cooking ones heap of camping heap of fishing bush cleanups cutting jarra everything anything to do with um southwest wa bush we're doing it we're out here and check us out on instagram as well we've got plenty of content on there at bush rats and we'll see you next time out on the tracks take it easy you